welcome to Cleaning Up the Mess. This is CNC3. I'm Ira Mathur. Our guest today is Canada's High Commissioner to Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Karen MacDonald. Now, Canada's systems are often used as models for action in TNT, this partially because of our common colonial heritage. We share a language, an English legal system, a vibrant Caribbean diaspora inhabits tr Canada. And aid and investments apart, we enjoy a close diplomatic friendship. But before we start the interview, here's a recap. We discovered on this show in recent months that we're among the most polluted small island states in the world. And a tiny island state like Barbados recycles over 70% of its waste while we recycle next to nothing. Our Point Lisa's industrial estate is largely unregulated by the EMA. Fish in the water nearby have developed cancerous lesions. Streets of people nearby have got cancer. And we have no idea how many toxins toxins enter our water and air every day. In the absence of recycling laws, we dump over 50 million plastic bottles every month. We look forward to the beverage bill being laid in Parliament by the Environment Minister because when these bottles are exposed to heat, they produce among the most toxic substances that exist to man. Two of our dumps are overflowing and need to be shut down as they are polluting our water table and contributing to serious illnesses. Our government is in the process of implementing a waste disposal system based on a plan developed in Nova Scotia, which means we need not reinvent the wheel. I'm very honoured to welcome Her Excellency Ms. Karen MacDonald, High Commissioner for Canada to Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. My first question to you is that the first step towards creating an environmental uh, consciousness is consensus between government and the people that this is what they want. And surveys show that the richer the countries, the quicker this happens. Do you think Trinidad and Tobago has arrived at that stage yet? Well, I think there are lots of promising signs, actually. Uh, the Prime Minister's Clean Up and Beautify TNT campaign I was very impressed by the reaction of the people around the country to that. You've got um, some very good environmental NGOs doing great work and the Canadian High Commission is really pleased to be supporting a couple of those NGOs through a small fund that we have. Uh, your government has the Green Fund. Um, I don't know how much that's being used quite yet but, but it is there and uh, I understand it has quite a lot of money in it. The beverage bill that you mentioned is also going to be a very important step. Um, you have recycling bins and, and depots around the country and I know they're being used because I see them on the corners and, and you can see that people are, are filling them up to the brim. Um, we recently just got one in the neighborhood that, that I live in here in, uh, in Port of Spain and I know that uh, I and all my neighbors are, are pretty excited about that. So I think there's a lot of, a lot of promising steps. Uh, it, it always has to be a partnership uh, between government, private sector and the individuals. And I think that's, that's really key, is, is, is making sure that that partnership exists. Now, would 